Hello there, superhero cadets. Wayne Clark here. After all we've learned this week, it's difficult to imagine a time when superheroes wouldn't be regarded as super. When they'd be forced to resign their superhero secret identities and live normal civilian lives. Well, that's exactly what happened to the Incredibles. 15 years ago, the world's superheroes were overwhelmed by an onslaught of lawsuits due to minor injuries suffered during their rescue attempts. To gain immunity from prosecution, they had to give up their superpower, superhero identities. This meant that Bob Parr, known as Mr. Incredible, and his wife Helen, known as Elastigirl, and their three superhero children were forced to live a normal, quiet, suburban life. Mr. Incredible, however, comes out of retirement upon an invitation from a mysterious benefactor. However, it's a trap. The mysterious benefactor is none other than Syndrome, a new evil nemesis. Now, the trapped Mr. Incredible and the rest of the Parr family must save the world from certain doom. The distinguishing feature about the Incredibles is that they kept on going. They were unstoppable, invincible, incredible even. But they couldn't have done it on their own. Mr Incredible, on his own, he wouldn't have survived. It was a team, no not just a team, a real family effort. Let's see that super family in action. Here's one of my favourite clips.